Okay, everyone, welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, Serving Tarot Straight Up. This is going to be your general weekly reading for February 7th through the 13th. So <clears throat> we're pretty much getting clear of the Mercury retrograde when I tell you that it was a mare. It was, it's horrible. So um, last Friday, actually, I was in the midst of filming a video <clears throat> and my phone completely died. And it was getting to that point, so, you know, my surprise, no, but, like, it's always a pain in the butt. So, ugh, I've had my fill this Mercury Retrograde. Lots of lessons. A lot of a good, lot of good epiphanies. I still cannot speak. <laughs> this is the, um, I know a lot of you guys ask in the comments, Santa Muerte Tarot, so... Let's see what's going on. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And then <clears throat> interesting. Okay. So <clears throat> this week, you can, it, Spirit is saying you're going to be putting your money where your mouth is. Um, <clears throat> we have the seven of wands. So usually that's an indication that you're putting action or you're standing your ground behind something that you're very passionate about that you um, want to proceed forward. Um, something that you're, you're standing fast. You're not, you know, going to budge your opinion and your, um, you're not going to waver, okay? So there's certainly some people who might not agree with you and might not understand why you're doing this. Um, I think some of, I think the people around you who are pushing back or might push back on you are concerned that you might put yourself in a financial stress or pinch or, you know, in a financial situation that you're not going to be able to come out of very easily. So in a way, their intentions might be good, but it's still your you know, it's still your life. So you can determine and choose how you want to move forward. So again, I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you're having to ground yourself and really stand firm on what you believe and what you want. Okay. So in the money zone. Okay. So we got the 10 of wands and we got the queen of cups in reverse. So first and foremost, I feel like for some of you, there's been a pretty big lift financially. Maybe you've been paying a bulk of the bills yourself or maybe you know you live alone and that's kind of normal and you've been paying you know there's been some pretty large expenses that you've had to you know endure these last couple weeks even this last month and you're kind of at this breaking point the thing with the ten of wands is that it is an ending and it is it's been a heavy lift but there's it's going to serve you in the long run okay so all the work you've been putting into something maybe you're investing in something maybe you are you know, putting a down payment, maybe you are um, paying something off. It's been really tough, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Okay. So, and this is one thing is that maybe you're feeling a little bit, or maybe you're recognizing that you're, you have an emotional, there's an emotional connection to money that you might have, meaning that maybe you spend money when you feel sad or depressed, or you kind of feel a void. And maybe this is kind of that lesson, that epiphany that you're realizing that I can't continue to put myself in that position again just because I'm going through it, right? So there could be some more, you know, emotional recognition that you need to kind of go through <clears throat> that maybe wasn't the right way to say that. There's an emotional or unhealthy connection to money that put you maybe in a bad spot um, and you had to really pull yourself out of it or realize that you've kind of made this hole and that you don't want to go back there again. So it's almost kind of checking yourself and recognizing what you need to work on. Um, and there could be some trauma attached to that too. And like I always say, I'm not a licensed therapist. So if you've been drawn to go to a therapy or licensed professional, go for it. <clears throat> okay, in the career zone, 
we have um, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and then we have the Five of Wands, okay? So really beautiful. These illustrations are so pretty in this deck. Um, okay, so there definitely is a delay in something. There could be some miscommunication. Um, there could be a group of people at work, maybe colleagues or team that you're on or working with a client or whatever the case is, that it's, it's going rough. <laughs> it's not the smoothest process. It's not the most efficient. There's a lot of, you know, um, miscommunication, a lot of assuming. There could be maybe that one person that doesn't really help out, but they're taking all the glory. There's always one in the group. <laughs> um, so for some of you, you're going to have to take a step back. There's been delays and frustration, and there's not a clear consensus on what everyone's supposed to be doing. So there, it sounds like if you're kind of going through that similar situation at work, you need to be very clear. Make sure you have things written down, documented. Um, you know, maybe you have somebody taking notes during meetings so you know exactly who's doing what. Write down deadlines. Be very clear on what everyone's purpose is and what their role is and what they're going to be doing. Um, what are the takeaways, right? So because if you don't have things in black and white this week, um, they could kind of come back to bite you in the butt. And I, I feel like also there's a, there's a little bit more data and research that needs to go into your project or whatever you're focusing on in order to kind of move it forward. So there's still something missing that you need to kind of evaluate. And I know that's frustrating because this retrograde has been definitely a challenge. Um, but there could be some hidden specifics that you overlook that you just need to go through one more time. Okay, in the relationship zone. So I pulled two of the cards because I wanted to see what was going on with singles and couples, okay? So the overall card is judgment, right? Judgment is an awakening, it's a wake-up call, it's some some of you, it's, it's learning lessons, but it's usually kind of this like aha moment, whether you need to change something, maybe you need to course correct, maybe you need to become more aware of your own behavior, it could be a lot of things, but for some of you, you're kind of having this like kind of resurgence of kind of like this, wow, I need to do something different, right? Um, where I've learned my lesson and I'm not going back there. So for singles, you have six of swords, not a bad card. Shh. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is panting very loud. So six of swords is really a wonderful card because it's indicates some of you might be traveling. So you might meet somebody during travel. Um, this doesn't necessarily, I, it doesn't, it feels like long distance, but not necessarily overseas. Uh, some of you may, but for most of you, it could just be driving distance. So um, maybe to the next town or next city. But one thing it's like when you're, whether you're on a trip or you're just like in a different place that you normally are. So maybe take a different route to work or to the store, you know, kind of be a little adventurous. You might meet people that you never have considered and they might be very attractive and they, you might hit it off with someone. Um, the Six of Swords is also getting to a place mentally where you feel a lot more at peace, calm, and kind of made it through a really tough storm. So for some of you, it's really going through a really a, a, a strong transition from you know being in a relationship to being single. Um, it could be being single, understanding who you are and how you've evolved and what you don't want in a relationship. It can be a lot of self-awareness, right? Um, but definitely movement and and seeing that, you know, you have the power to make that change. And sometimes when you realize that the power has never left you, you kind of feel not only in control, but at peace because now you can make decisions that are best for you. Um, but Six of Swords can mean, again, that you might meet somebody um moving or doing something or experiencing something new. Um, so don't be afraid to get out there and kind of be a little bit of adventurous. Um, and for some of you, this judgment card and maybe where that's coming in is like, it's time. Like if you get the push to do something kind of out of your normal routine, that's usually spirit or your guides or whoever that you are connected to trying to kind of push you out of your comfort zone because there's a rhyme and reason why you maybe need to take this you know, the scenic route, or maybe you need to go to this gym, or maybe you need to try this new bar or restaurant. There's a reason why you're being pushed to do it. So, you know, trust that. For couples, we got um, six of cups. Interesting, two sixes next to each other can indicate usually some conflict or friction. Um, so six of cups in reverse for some of you couples, 
Um, there could be some kind of chaotic energy between both of you. Um, there could be more fights, arguments, little stuff that are just building up. Um, maybe this is someone that you're starting to see in a different way. Maybe you feel like you've grown apart. The Six of Cups typically is a very strong connection to somebody, um, even that soul connection. So not to disregard that, but sometimes it's almost like for some of you, you, you maybe got together when you were relatively young, um, maybe in your early 20s, and now it's kind of, it's changed. It's different. It's The love is not so much romantic, it's more friendship platonic, right? So it's kind of shifted maybe for some of you. Um, but I think that that kind of like that fun, that excitement, um, the flirting, all that stuff, it's kind of died down and it's starting to take a toll on your romantic side of the relationship. So if that's the case, you know, certainly start to have open, candid conversations with your partner um, to figure out, you know, like what's going on, not only with you, but also with them, okay? So that is certainly... A lot to deal with this upcoming week. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm going to just pull a few more cards. Oh my goodness, I am having the hardest time in retrograde speaking. I don't know what it is. That is way too many cards, Spirit. That was the whole deck almost. There we go. Okay. I think for some of you, the key this week and just some things to keep in mind because you have the four of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. You have to start to learn to trust yourself and number one, not control your energy or control every outcome because that's just impossible. You have to be a little bit more open, okay? And that doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, kind of going back to your, your money part of the reading. That doesn't mean you have to be frivolous and just spend because, um, to fill a void, but like I do think that you need to be a little bit more open and you need to be, you know, more in a line and trust your intuition, trust yourself. If you are being drawn to do something, do it. Don't close yourself off because spirit is pushing you to do those things and experience that and see different places and meet new people because you're meant to, right? So, and the seven of swords in reverse is that you I think it's you starting to become more aware that you maybe do sometimes self-sabotage um, and becoming more aware of maybe your own behaviors and patterns. And we all have them, by the way, we all have them. Um, sometimes when we get pushed into out of our comfort zone too quickly, we buckle up and we, you know, buckle our knees and we're like, no, 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 no. So, you know, sometimes there's no happy medium, right? They're not, you can't always have it both ways. But this week I would say, Trust yourself that you're going to catch red flags. Trust yourself, you know, that you're going to make the right decisions. Don't hesitate and don't stop yourself in being present and trying new things. Be a little bit more adventurous this week. And you never know, you might meet a really great person. You might meet a new connection for business. Um, you might, you know, eat at a really fantastic restaurant that kind of just makes your day. Whatever it is, trust yourself and be in the moment. Have a great rest of the week and we'll talk soon.